Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by 19. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Chong. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon Great. tonight. Our right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot. Because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Oh, he didn't seem too phased. But that high kick definitely got through. Trying to double up on that jab. He is going after that overhand right. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. A nice jab there by Chor. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. So more output, at least in the early going. Yeah. Counter kick to the body there by Choi. Yeah. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in the He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And all the stars behind that beautiful jab. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. 
though, certainly paid dividends for him. Oh, the head kick land. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, yet again, back to the big kick, and it lands. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Fighter connects there. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, misses with the jab. Ooh, big shot lands. Joy going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Under two minutes in the first round. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Counterpunch landed there by Choi. Oh, really good. Oh, oh, oh right hand. Oh, inside kick. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Casper trying to find that shot again. Nice straight right lands. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Joy going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land the strike. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Second round, straight ahead. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two on the way. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he is recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give him a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Oh, great block there. Snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab. Will he start to finish tonight? Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Nice punch to the head. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Unable to connect there. 
Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave a book. Another strike to the head land. Great commitment to the kicking game. Kick to the body by Choi. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Big right hand there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Three minutes. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. They got checked. Forward, forward, forward. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this fast as we have seen to this point in the fight. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. He checked that last one. 90 seconds to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Well, you gotta think he's happy with Oh! Huge right hand! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun, and hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your No. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a pulling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, big elbow. Takedown defense is there. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. All right, so that cast starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check. Ten seconds now to go in the round. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. 
That's a nice jab by him there. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Great block there. Goes upstairs. Gets a foot to the target. High kick lands. Oh! Continue to land. Oh, it's over. Do it. Sure. No judges needed this time around. What a performance. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the